Welcome back to Tabs. Totally accurate battle simulator. This game is only going to get better. New physics on the way, including an Axe Master. The Axe Master from the Stone Age faction. Cavemen are coming to the game. Stone Age stuff. And that means that right along with the Axe Master comes something unique, the first of its kind to grace the game, something that will absolutely destroy massive amounts of units, but may go down very easily to the spear throwers. The Mammoth. The Mammoth. A Mammoth is coming to tabs, guys. There are so many factions, and the Stone Age one is going to be really exciting to use because just the mammoth alone is going to cause some massive damage. Just think about the mammoth versus a huge, like a bunch of barbarians or something. It's going to absolutely be able to wreck uh, big massive groups. At least that's my thought and my hope. So right along with the Axe Master, they were testing out dual wielding as well. So here's a single swordsman versus a dual wielder. So there are actually like legitimate battles going to happen between two units with like pairing and stuff. A lot of people were worried like, oh, don't don't lose the totally accurate feel of things. Oh my gosh, he shanked him right in the groins, right in the goods. Uh, yeah, a lot of people were afraid that they were going to lose like the totally accurate battle feel of things. But I really think that... It's going to come down to, like, what units go against each other, you know? But look, this is the craziest thing. The physics are a little wobbly still, but I think they're definitely going to they're gonna get that working. And I think this whole image, this whole video is them, like, kind of tweaking the dual wielding. But either way, I mean, dual wielding, most of the times, I would think, would absolutely be able to wreck a solo unit. So this is kind of a look at like how they do the dev process too, which is pretty awesome. There's a bunch of other units that they've also teased. And don't forget, at the end of the video, there's always footage if you guys are interested in watching that. Okay, so this is not a new unit, but it's pretty freaking cool. It's like anime stuff with these giant swords. But how cool would it be to actually have like a massive giant with the sword this big? It would be pretty freaking cool. So they're just like messing around with the new system that they've developed. They, if you guys are not aware, this is a heads up. They've completely reworked the game from the ground up. And they have like a whole new system, I guess. And so we're going to see a lot of cool new features that are going to be coming to the game. And a lot of those things have already been shown in videos in the past. You know, like flamethrower, fire units, things catching on fire. The poison dart guys. Uh, the horses. Things like that. Uh, movement speed increases. Formation bonuses. There's all kinds of things coming to the game and so this whole new system is going to completely change tabs and i think a lot of people are going to be pretty excited to see what they've done overall i mean i don't even know and i'm extremely excited and i can't wait for this update because so much stuff is going to be coming to the game look at them just fighting it's insane okay so here's the last thing this is something that was teased today it's showing like I, I don't know, maybe like a swarm mentality. This is like directly from War World War Z with uh, Brad Pitt. If you guys ever seen that, where they climb the tower, they climb the wall by Jerusalem uh, or Israel, whatever. That's what's that's what's happening. So I don't know if this is a new mechanic. If this is gonna be actually in the game, but that's pretty freaking crazy to see uh, how they react and what they're like. And if that is the case, then massive groups of units could cause some problems but i bet that that is a mechanic they're putting in place because they're going to be bringing castles let me know what you guys think about that if you guys want to speculate with me but i think that's what's coming and i'm super excited about that if that's the case this battle is humanity's last stand against the giants and the little babies <laughs> the little baby chicken man this comment's from samuel and he uh basically said to pit a bunch of peasants and farmers and thieves and swordsmen and archers and then one catapult versus these giants and he said he wants to know who will win uh i'm gonna move this actually now that i think about it i honestly we have tried battles like this before and i never know how they're gonna go because i always think oh you know these units are gonna be able to kill all the giants but usually they don't because the freaking oh oh gosh the catapults killing their own guys the chickens just obliterate look at them all dying Oh, we're going to need more units. Yeah, I think 17 chickens, chicken mans, mans might be a little too much, man. Maybe just a little too much. 
So let's go ahead and limit that number and we'll just go ahead and take it down to that. I don't, <laughs> that was a bloodbath, man. That was an absolute slaughter. So the biggest problem, oh, 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 how did that catapult shot not hit any of them? It went right past him. Uh, the biggest problem is that you gotta, they gotta run up to him. Yeah, take his legs out. Go for the legs. It's just like Star Wars. Go for the, oh my gosh. I think we're gonna need more archers. Dude, it's, it's not even possible. It's not even practical. Maybe one giant, maybe one giant. One giant and those little babies. Versus all, all this. It's just, oh, <laughs> it's just amazing. How, they just turn around and start pooping. It's hilarious. Uh, it's just amazing how quickly they die. Look at the chickens carrying that dude. Did you see that? Wow. Chickens straight up carrying that guy. Gosh, he's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot for this side to... Holy smokes. We're going to need more archers. Nice, nice miss there, dude. You missed... Wow, so the, the biggest challenge that I've seen is balancing the sides with these massive battles like this. Because you always think like, oh, it's going to go, it's going to go okay. Uh, but it sometimes doesn't. If you guys have any battle ideas, definitely make sure to comment that below. Leave those in the comment section. And then thumbs up the ones that you do like, obviously. And that way, I uh, it, it just helps me to know what you guys want to see. And I can bring you the best stuff. The stuff that you're interested in. Oh, get taken out. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. This is looking better. The archers have seemed to uh, pull this out. It seems that humanity's last stand is reasonable now. And the giant is getting lots and lots of freaking arrows. Those Did those arrows seem massive to you? Or is that just me? They seemed gigantic. Uh, but... They got him, so th we're done. We're, d we're done with this battle. Time to move on to another one. Okay, so this is a really cool battle. This is the Battle of Kadesh. It was suggested a while ago, and I just now remembered uh, the comment. But And I thought this was a cool battle to do because it kind of can generate some ideas for different units in game. So the Battle of Kadesh is like the oldest recorded battle in terms of like knowing formations and units and things like that and people estimate it was the biggest chariot battle ever fought and had like thousands and thousands of chariots but it wasn't just chariots like this it was also chariots like they rode and they shot arrows from there were horsemen and archers on horsemen and things like that and so and then like you know regular oh not like hoplites but shieldmen with swords like kind of like vikings i guess but not really and so you can't accurately utilize all of the different types of uh, units because they don't exist but uh i did it i think as best as what he wanted the com the suggester it could be a woman i don't know uh but as best as they said to do and so we're going to see what happens here it's relatively even and i thought that would happen with the chariots just cause a mess and they don't do anything but cause destruction i i was thinking i might take the chariots out because they're just they just cause a mess you know like i mean look at the battlefield so let's just take out the chariots, or maybe we could, I guess we could leave one in, but I'm not going to. So uh, it's relatively balanced. What's the difference on this side? I think some sides have, like, they have more spearmen, but they have more swordmen, and so I kind of alternated like that. So let's let's find out what happens. That I think this guy's, whoa, uh, my man. Dude, did you see, that guy got up and ran, aw ran away. <laughs> he was jumping and just ran. I should have got a, a more zoomed out view. I might read. I might do this again just to kind of see what what's going on here. Looks like the red team has got a decisive edge here. I wonder if it's because they have more. Uh... Okay, if that happens again, maybe we'll add some more archers because it's really close. I think they have more spear throwers too. Oh my gosh, dude, are they gonna? Is the blue side gonna win? <gasps> dude, if they win, I'm gonna be so shocked. Oh oh oh. Oh, came down to the archers. Wow. Okay, let's get a zoomed out perspective here on this battle and just see what's happening. The Vikings run right past each other. We got swordmen and spearmen attacking and stuff. It looks relatively balanced for the most part. It's really hard to like kind of tell what's going on. You have to almost like focus on just one group and then go from there. 
Yeah, like, you know, we don't we don't have the ability to have shieldmen and swordmen, like, you know, having both. We just have shieldmen, you know? And so you can't really get, like, cool... Holy crap. That was decisively different. Yeah, so, I mean, it's a really cool battle idea, but we might have to revisit something like this uh, in, the, in the future just simply because of the fact that we don't have the units, I think, that would be necessary to see this battle play out in a good way. Plus, also... I have the units kind of scattered about, but it was on purpose to kind of generate some... Div oh, our arrow to the back of the head. Oh, just missed that spear throw. Dude, a lot of the red guys getting hit by their own archers. Oh, that guy caught one right in the head. And with the new physics and stuff, the uh, animations and the, you know, like the spearmen should be way better. Oh, it's way different now. Way more archers. It's a bloodbath. It's a bloodbath. Wow. That was really cool. This is a really cool battle idea. I kind of like these historical battles. If you guys have any more like this, definitely make sure to uh, to leave those below. Here we go. Clash of the Ages. We've got spearmen over here. Footmen over here. Shieldmen in front. Now, I think they're spaced well enough to where the, they shouldn't run in front of the shieldmen. Just barely on the blue side. But I want to see who's going to win. I, my bet is on the blue side because of the swords. But I... Oh, no. I'm wrong. I'm going to move them back just a little bit. They're a little too fast. It was good for the other side, but these guys are just a little too quick. I just want to see what will happen here. Um, yeah, but we can't have them too far behind. Freaking trees in the way. I think I had 60, right? Yep. So we got a lot that are kind of placed wrong. All right, let's try it. I think this will work. I just want to see who will win this battle. You can't really do, like, accurate formations, but we're definitely going to be able to in the next update, which should be really awesome to see. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Bloodbath here. Bloodbath. Get wrecked, red guys. Your spears. What if this? What if these two guys killed all of them? Freaking true three hundred stuff over here, dude. He literally just killed so many guys. He killed, killed. He doesn't even have a. How are you gonna get bashed in the face by a shieldman? Really, man? Do you even have more numbers? I didn't even do it right. How are you gonna get bashed in the face by a shieldman? That's freaking crazy. Cool. Well, I just wanted to test that. Can't wait for formations in the next update. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Things are going well for you. I will see you in the next one.